So even though the, the cell is bigger, it actually has uh, more power. Uh, the power to weight ratio is actually better than the smaller cell with, with, with halves. This is, uh, you know, again, like this is quite, quite hard to do. It, so it's, uh, you know, nobody's done it before. Lithium iron phosphate or LFP batteries are a popular choice for electric vehicles for a good reason. According to automakers like Tesla, overtaking nickel and cobalt in importance, LFP could be the key to sustainable transportation in the future. Recent years have seen a sharp increase in the use of lithium iron phosphate batteries in the electric vehicle sector. What do we know about the LFP batteries? Recent years have seen a sharp increase in the use of lithium iron phosphate batteries in the electric vehicle sector. Many have been captivated by this astounding change, raising the question, why are automakers so willing to employ lithium iron phosphate rather than more conventional materials like nickel and cobalt? The batteries, the most expensive component in an electric car, are a major focus as the automotive industry scrambles to produce them at reduced rates. For EV batteries, lithium iron phosphate has become the material of choice. There are a number of reasons why LFP is becoming more and more preferred, including geopolitical and environmental factors. Furthermore, the performance difference between LFP and widely used materials like nickel and cobalt has decreased due to technological advances. One kind of rechargeable battery that is included in the lithium ion battery family is lithium iron phosphate. Its name comes from the fact that lithium iron phosphate serves as its cathode material. Lithium iron phosphate, in contrast to other lithium ion chemistries, has several unique benefits that have attracted a lot of interest in the electric vehicle sector. What are the advantages of LFP batteries? For EV makers, safety is the top priority, and LFP excels in this area. LFP is intrinsically more stable, less prone to thermal runaway, and less likely to catch fire or explode during charging or discharging events than nickel and cobalt-based chemistries. LFP operates in a wider temperature range without sacrificing performance due to its superior thermal stability. Life PO4 batteries are now more dependable and appropriate for harsh climates because of this. When comparing LFP batteries to conventional lithium iron batteries, the former have a substantially longer cycle life. Over an extended period, they can withstand a higher number of charge-discharge cycles without experiencing significant capacity deterioration, which makes them extremely robust and economical. High power output from LFP batteries allows for quick charging and discharging. Because of this feature, they are especially well suited for uses like electric automobiles that call for rapid acceleration and regenerative braking. Compared to batteries based on nickel and cobalt, LFP batteries are more environmentally benign because raw materials needed to produce these LFPs are widely accessible and plentiful. The environmental impact of mining and extraction is thus minimized. What are the implications of LFP batteries in the EV industry? The EV industry's increasing use of LFP batteries marks a dramatic change in the direction of safer and more environmentally friendly energy storage options. Additionally, there are financial benefits to reducing dependency on nickel and cobalt as these commodities can come from politically unstable areas and are frequently costly. Lithium iron phosphate battery usage is probably going to increase as the EV market keeps growing. For automakers, LFP is a desirable alternative because of its inbuilt safety extended lifespan, and the environmental advantages. The automobile industry may help create a more sustainable future by limiting its environmental effect and reducing its reliance on fossil fuels by utilizing LFP's advantages. When it comes to EV battery technology, lithium iron phosphate has been the preferred option for automakers. It has established itself as a strong competitor to nickel and cobalt-based chemistries thanks to its increased safety, improved thermal stability, longer lifespan, higher power density, and environmental friendliness. The future of electric mobility is expected to be powered by LFP batteries, which will be essential as the globe transitions to more environmentally friendly forms of transportation. Why is there a demand for LFP batteries? The demand for automotive lithium-ion batteries grew by almost 65% to 550 GWh in 2022 from around 330 GWh in 2021. 
mostly due to a rise in the sales of electric passenger cars, with new registrations rising by 55% in 2022 compared to 2021. In China, the demand for automobile batteries jumped by more than 70%, while sales of electric cars rose by 80% in 2022 compared to 2021. The rise in battery demand was somewhat offset by a rise in the proportion of plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. Even though sales of electric cars increased by only around 55% in 2022, the demand for batteries for automobiles in the US increased by about 80%. The average battery size of an electric car in the US increased by only 7% in 2022, but it is still approximately 40% larger than the global average. Sales of BEVs and PHEVs are surpassing those of electric hybrid vehicles worldwide, and as the battery sizes of these vehicles grow, so does the demand for batteries. The need for essential materials is driven by the rise in battery use. Lithium output has increased by 180% since 2017 yet supply still fell short of demand in 2022. About 60% of the demand for lithium, 30% for cobalt, and 10% for nickel in 2022 came from EV batteries. In 2017, merely five years prior, these percentages were around 15%, 10%, and 2% in that order. Mining and processing of these vital minerals will need to rise quickly to support the energy transition, not just for EVs, but more generally to keep up with the rate of demand for clean energy technologies, as has already been observed for lithium. Reducing the requirement for essential resources is also crucial for the security, resilience, and sustainability of the supply chain. In order to assist the adoption of car models with optimized battery sizes and the advancement of battery recycling, it can be helpful to accelerate innovation Examples of such innovations include better battery technologies that require smaller quantities of key materials. With a market share of 60% in 2022, lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide continued to be the most popular battery chemistry. It was followed by lithium iron phosphate, which had a share of slightly less than 30%, and nickel cobalt aluminum oxide, which had a share of almost 8%. The share of lithium iron phosphate cathode chemistries has increased during the last 10 years. Chinese OEM's preferences are the primary force behind this trend. Approximately 95% of LFP batteries used in electric long-distance vehicles were produced in China, with BYD accounting for 50% of the market. Tesla made up 15% of the total, and from 20% in 2021 to 30% in 2022, the company used more LFP batteries. Approximately 85% of the Tesla manufactured cars using LFP batteries were made in China. The remaining automobiles were made in the US using Chinese cells that were imported. In 2022, the United States accounted for just around 3% of the total number of electric automobiles with LFP batteries manufactured there. The energy density of LFP is generally lower than that of NMC, which is a drawback. Phosphorus is also present in LFP batteries and is utilized in the manufacturing of food. Given that all batteries made today would be LFP, they would be responsible for over 1% of the mass of phosphorus used in agriculture today. Sodium ion batteries are one of the Li ion battery substitutes that have gained popularity recently. The two benefits of this battery chemistry are that it doesn't require any key minerals. Therefore, batteries made with it are more affordable than those made with lithium iron. As of now, it's the only practical chemical free of lithium. An LFP battery is expected to cost 30% more than the sodium ion battery produced by China CATL. These include the BYD Seagull, which will retail for 11,600 US dollars, and the Seahole EX10, which will be made by the joint venture between VW and GAC and has a stated range of 250 kilometers. Even though these early versions are probably a little more costly than the Wuling Mini BEV, which sells for as little as 5,000 US dollars to 6,500 US dollars, the cheapest compact BEV models in China, they are still less expensive than comparable vehicles with comparable driving ranges. So, what are your thoughts on LFP batteries? Do you think this is the end of the EV batteries? Do share your thoughts on this in the comment section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye.